Wrinkling, sagging, spider veins, and sunspots, these are all believed to be unavoidable changes to our skin that occur with age. But what if there was a way to prevent or at least slow down this process of aging? How's everyone doing? It's Isaac Way, Doctor of Pharmacy, and in this video, we'll be discussing the factors associated with aging according to a systematic review and meta-analysis by Chu and colleagues. I hope that by watching this video, you'll gain a greater insight into the factors that might be causing aging so that you have the tools to age gracefully into your 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Factors associated with aging can be divided into intrinsic factors which cannot be controlled and extrinsic factors which can be controlled. Intrinsic factors associated with aging first of all include gender, and unfortunately it seems that men look older than women. The authors speculate that this difference might have to do with male sex hormones such as testosterone, and also if you look at bodybuilders and athletes that abuse male sex hormones aka anabolic steroids, you can see that these individuals tend to age more rapidly than the general population. Here's a picture of 27 year old enhanced power lifter Larry Wheels for instance. So if your goal is to look young, anabolic steroid use is probably not the best idea. The next factor I want to talk about is ethnicity. Now this is definitely a controversial topic and the data is messy, but it does seem that there are some differences in skin aging that can be attributed to ethnicity. Notably, it seems that individuals who are East Asian, such as those who are Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, tend to wrinkle more slowly than their Caucasian counterparts. However, East Asians are not immune to all signs of aging and seem to develop dispigmentation, also known as sunspots, more so than Caucasians. In addition, while East Asians have better wrinkling outcomes earlier in life, there is data to indicate that they do experience accelerated wrinkling later in life. So contrary to popular belief, yes, in fact, Asians do raisin. Now when it comes to skin tone or how light or dark someone's skin appears, it's unclear if darker skin provides more protection against aging than lighter skin. Although this may be confounded by the fact that sun exposure, which is known to accelerate skin aging, is also associated with darker skin. Given the protective effect of melanin, which is more prevalent in darker skinned individuals, it's possible that between two individuals with equivalent sun exposure, the individual with lighter skin might age more quickly than the individual with darker skin. Now that we've discussed intrinsic or uncontrollable factors of aging, let's talk about extrinsic factors of aging or controllable factors of aging. The first factor is pollution, and air pollution was associated with increased dispigmentation as well as wrinkling. This might mean that it would be a better idea to live in a city with good air quality such as Osaka, Japan, rather than a city with poor air quality like Lahore, Pakistan. Diet is the next factor I want to talk about, and it looked like individuals with increased intakes of healthy fatty acids and vegetables were less likely to experience wrinkling, roughness, and photoaging. For this reason, it might be a good idea to take a close look at your diet when it comes to optimizing your appearance. Interestingly, however, there was no association found between alcohol intake and skin aging. Smoking is the next factor, and as expected, smoking was generally associated with poorer skin outcomes. Specifically, current smokers were found to have increased photoaging and wrinkling, but not dispigmentation. Although these associations could not be made with former smokers, indicating that smoking associated skin aging might be reversible. However, there was an association between individuals who had ever smoked and the prevalence of smokers' face, which is just a description of pale yellow and wrinkled skin that occurs in smokers, so it might be better to avoid smoking altogether if possible. Now, the effects of smoking on skin aging was also found to be dose dependent, meaning that individuals who smoked more tended to have worse skin outcomes compared to those who smoked less. Sun exposure is the next extrinsic factor I want to talk about, and there was a large and dose-dependent association between sun exposure and increased wrinkling. Other markers of aging associated with sun exposure included sunspots, perceived age, and sagging, but interestingly, photoaging, which is a term specifically used to describe manifestations of sun-damaged skin, was not always associated with sun exposure. 
Sunscreen use was generally found to have a protective effect against sun exposure and was associated with lower perceived age and less photo aging. However, given that most people that use sunscreen don't apply it properly and tend to go out in the sun more often, someone who wears sunscreen properly and only goes out in the sun a reasonable amount of time might have even better anti-aging outcomes that were reported. Other extrinsic factors associated with skin aging included financial stress, which was associated with older perceived age, and sleep deprivation, which was associated with a less healthy and attractive appearance. Now, those are all the factors associated with skin aging that I wanted to talk about. In order to optimize your skin aging outcomes, I would recommend avoiding anabolic steroids, avoiding smoking, living in an environment with good air quality, eating a diet rich in vegetables and healthy fatty acids, wearing sunscreen and avoiding excessive sun exposure, sleeping six to eight hours per night, and minimizing financial stress. Anyways, that's all I have to talk to you about today. I hope this video has been helpful and I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.